Wait, what? That's it, you're live. There we go, we're live. We're live. As easy Here as we that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're lacking manpower today. Though. <laughs> Everyone's running scared because they know the champ's here. That's what's happening. <laughs> Nanny Mitchell's dead in bed. I've heard he's dead as well. So. Right, so uh, welcome back to the uh, All Stars BKB <laughs> podcast. I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> we're live everywhere now. I know, yeah. Yeah, Danny, Danny Mitchell's not here. He's sick. Danny Jessup's not here. He's lost his wallet. Shit He's excuse. lost his wallet. Yeah, <laughs> shit <laughs> excuse. <isn't laughs> it? He, he was here this morning. It's like, yeah, I've left my wallet somewhere. And like, you can just see his mind ticking. I'm like, just go find your fucking wallet. What have I bought in the past few days? <laughs> lost his wallet. That's right. Uh, yeah, so uh, welcome back to the podcast. Um, quick shout out to our sponsors, Amazing Green, who also sponsor. And in fact, Ali and Muscle Medicine yeah, as well. Yeah, both of them. They're and both guard. And Excess Guard. <laughs> CH, CH Productions. Production. They're all here. It's incestuous, <laughs> this game, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, so check out all them sponsors, but we'll uh, we'll get straight into it. We're, uh, we're, we're in the presence of greatness. <laughs> the man has beaten the king of BKB and become the new king. How's it, how's it feeling, mate? It feels good. It feels good. It took a week to sink in a little bit. But yeah, I told everyone I was going to win and it's finally happened. Everyone's seen it's seen it happen now and it's, <laughs> it's just crazy. What's it been like doing the media rounds as well? Because I, I imagine you've obviously got a lot of attention. You look unreal. Just look to the camera. Like, it looked like... It, it <laughs> no looked... scars, nothing. I look fresh, ready to go again. You ready for any man? Yeah, yeah. So I've healed good. Yeah, what's, it, what's it been like doing media rounds then? Yeah, it's been good. I've been on the radio and stuff and I've had loads of support like from... Lincolnshire Radio and then Scunthorpe Telegraph, all Lincolnshire, you know, they're all supporting me really. I've even had um, journalists from no Look North, yeah. TV, yeah, they want, uh, they're want they going to do a bit on me as well, so that's pretty good. Yeah. That's awesome, that's Really isn't it? good, yeah. Nice. So, well, I thought, if they want any footage. I'm, I'm, <laughs> surprised they, um, I'm surprised they're going to put that on there because it's still one of them things that's out there, isn't it, BKB? Yeah. When we had Jim on, we were saying it's like, it's pretty, it's still pretty they brutal. They had a pro box on there from like Lincolnshire, I think. But then obviously I think because I've been in the paper articles and the radio, they think obviously this is legit. You know, it's not like um, a brawl in the fucking, in the back garden. So, yeah. Yeah. so I think, yeah, it's getting bigger now. So it's, it's good, really good support. It's good. And we're joined by uh, Conor Halliday, Mr. CH are. Productions himself. Here. I bet I ain't got my protein. Oh though. shit, he's in the back. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, so if, if anybody that's watched the podcast <laughs> for a while, he won a, uh, a giveaway that we did with in The May. Power of Me. In we're, in, we're in May, were it? I was thinking like, when were it? It was just before uh, Risk. It was just before was Risk. It? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> to be fair, he won, he won some protein powder, some nootropics and some protein bars. Yeah. Huh. And Danny Jessup ate them all. That's all the protein bars that no that's longer exist. But you've still got two of your prizes left. <laughs> that's what you get for leaving it with six months. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? You all right? Yeah, fantastic. I'm uh, finally getting a little less busy. So uh, there we go. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, I was just buzzing for him. More know, than anything. Yeah. Bit gutted I couldn't make it to London, but... Uh, it was a mad yeah. weekend, wasn't it? Crazy. Craziness. I mean, we might as well start, let's start before the fight then. We'll go back for yeah. six months. Like, yeah. The documentary that you managed to wrap up between you both. Yeah, well, I wait. Why? It was last September, so September 2018. Oh yeah. One of his sponsors, who I know, uh, messaged for a for a highlight video because that's all I started yeah. doing. Out, that's all I were doing were highlight videos. But uh, we made that, and then I was just I didn't I didn't sponsor anyone other than my own gym. Yeah. So now we're like, well, fuck it. We'll, yeah. Uh, we'll give this a go, and I just asked, didn't I? I was yeah. Just like, Do you started want to with a few highlight videos. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and then you're sick at doing them. Then you had your last MMA fight in what December? Last yeah. December. Yeah, last December. And then it—that's when the tournament started. Was January, was it? Yeah. And uh, so I let him. Do, obviously, I didn't really do much for the. I did highlight videos for the the first fight, the yeah. second fight, and then when we got into the final, me, Rico, and Danny, after he sparked uh, Connor Tierney <laughs> out, that's when we made the snatch video. Yeah. And that yeah. was really funny because Danny yeah. didn't even Danny met literally sent me a voice message on the way on home the way from home London. Was, yeah. <laughs> didn't give me he just went, I want a snatch video. And then <laughs> in the morning he was like, That's all I wanted. So we did that. That kind of blew up a little bit. And then yeah, we just had a kind of a bit of a discussion of uh, you know, make a big build up to it and yeah. everything. And I think we just smashed that out. Uh, I definitely had a lot more pressure for the final <laughs> and then I did for this world to, like this is the biggest fight I've decided. Yeah. But I felt I had no nerves, I, you know what I mean? Because I didn't really, I was a bit quiet on social media, not as much as the final, but I felt like there was no stress, no pressure. All the pressure was on Jimmy. 
Well, actually, I, th- I was there at the uh, yeah. prize fighter final, and I think more people were interested in that fight than the actual Sweeney fight afterwards. Yeah. I know, like the, the the place erupted when you had that fight. It were, it were, and again, like that fight, the seven round fight that you went there yeah. were probably renowned as one of the best BKB yeah. fights yeah. ever. You, like you've now got two of the best yeah. <laughs> BKB. Because I remember people I saying afterwards, you know, like that were just it was an unbelievable, unbelievable fight. Yeah. Um. So you obviously went and you made. After, during that process, you made the documentary, which you released. How long ago was that? Long? That were I so think we did it beginning of September. It yeah, was so just after Sweeney, after the Sweeney fight got announced, set up because Rico yeah. messaged me like, "Look, we've took the Sweeney fight. It should be November." Um, because um, for those that have watched it, that last part when it's over the fight footage of Rico talking, we obviously did that after the fight. Yeah. So we met up. We did that, and I'm so glad we did because I think it made it. I think it made the fight part just intense, yeah, which yeah. was really good. Um, so we did that, and then he was like, right, I've got the Sweeney fight on this date, blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I'm going to have to fucking get it out there. Right? Crack on, yeah. and it, well, you know, because I'm messaging, <laughs> messaging you every other <laughs> fucking week. But it were it were a lot of stress, but then when it came out, it was just amazing. I mean, you've got to look Absolutely like from a, from a work, like as a as a, a work of art, as a feature that you, yeah. you produce, like to go from creating highlight videos and just small pieces to... Yeah. Fucking hell, it's like yeah. a feature film. It was like the 60 fi- minutes long. The it was, the, yeah. The, yeah, I think it was 57 minutes running time. Yeah, but you'd, but you'd cut it down from like an hour an 20, hour, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the My long... dogs are like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows me dogs in and out. Like, they know the personalities. <laughs> they know Bond does big shit. So. <laughs> the, but the longest thing I'd done before that was at uni, and it was 10 minutes. Yeah. And I thought that was stressful. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't it was fight based it was about fighting but it wasn't it, it, it was more it was about the mental health side of fighting and all this kind of stuff oh, i've seen that video is that your yeah. video is it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. like this one because it was just this is a guy this is what he does now he's having a fight yeah yeah it was a bit more intense but i think i could have made it shorter but i think the fact nah. that it was the fact that it was nice and a lot i think it i think it yeah. uh, i think between you what you made there were amazing because yeah, it gives really good. Yeah. what people don't get to see which it fascinates me about the fighting like that's why i enjoy doing this podcast especially with danny like getting to know danny yeah. as well as i have now rest in peace um, <laughs> it's it's been amazing just to meet the people behind the yeah. you know all we ever get to see is the people scrapping in a yeah, cage or, or I mean. in yeah, a ring you don't yeah. get to meet the person that I, yeah. I was just saying then to holly when she were here i was saying like it's it's bizarre when you go down to the gym i want to know what people do for a living you know, like what, you know, he might just be a builder or he's a whatever, works at Tesco. My, my like, favourite is yeah. Bram. Because yeah, yeah. Br- Bram, you, 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 you wouldn't expect him to do what he's doing. He's like, makes make jewellery and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And then he goes out and spinning elbows Brazilians it's, on, a, it's, on, a, on a Saturday night at <laughs> Sheffield Arena. It's probably yeah, funny because I mean. like Jay Furness messaged in like, you know, WhatsApp group. And uh, it's like, it's basically like AVT Freemasons because everyone's got their own like skills yeah. or trades and everyone's like passing work between each other. So like <laughs> in the fight, you know, in the fight game, in the fight gym, like everyone can just sort of help each other out. I think yeah. it's fascinating. It's really uh, cool. Yeah, it's, but it is really to, cool. to give an insight into like your life before leading up to this, yeah. you're following like what you produced, put your following on another level yeah, did, yeah yeah definitely your personality on another level because yeah like when we when i first met you you're pretty quiet you're pretty yeah. like laid back you know yeah. no one really gets to know you i personally. still get like a lot of people now like who don't know me whoever meets me like the first time but they just see fighting cage fighting bare knuckle and then they're like do you know what you're actually a really nice guy like, <laughs> what do you expect it to be like like yeah. a hooligan or what like you, you, but you would think it's an hooligan yeah, yeah, wouldn't yeah. you like i mean look at that photo after this fight you yeah, look no, yeah. horrible like you got blood <laughs> dripping off I your face it's I still got blood on the belt on here somewhere <laughs> jimmy's blood yeah so, jimmy's, uh, blood, jimmy's blood yeah rest in peace jimmy um, <laughs> Yeah, it's, I think it was good to get an insight, to give people an insight. Like, yeah. even like my, like my dad, for example, like my yeah. dad won't, won't see any of this stuff. You know, yeah. he's not really into fighting or all, but he'll, like, he's got himself an Instagram account and he's yeah. sort of followed the stuff that I've been doing. He yeah. sees stuff that we That's do back it, and yeah. forth, you know, cross sharing. And he's like, oh, I watched the documentary with Rico over there. <laughs> my mum's seen it. Do you know, it's like <laughs> everyone's, get, everyone's yeah. got an opportunity yeah. to yeah. sort of. I just said to Connor on the way, the guy from USA messaged me saying, I've just seen your documentary. Um, massive respect. I'm a massive fan from USA. I'm like, this is crazy. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Mental. Yeah, yeah. Mental. And That's... the fact that, like, because we were supposed to, obviously, we were going to come and do a podcast, weren't we? And then, yeah. like, a week later, release it, blah, 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 whatever happened. And then we obviously just, it ended up being, right, we need to put it out today. And then I can't, like, remember, I can't, I can't remember what I, happened. I, like, I, so, sort of going back, it was going to be a case of you, you win the prize fighter tournament then we'll we had like a little bit of a marketing meeting right how we're going to release this yeah, like you just yeah. had, a, had a glimpse of the of the documentary yeah. how we're going to release that it that meeting was so important because that's when i showed you a little bit at the end yeah and then you was, yeah. you said right as much as 
Uh, your voice sounds good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was doing it all off my own back. It was no yeah. money yeah, so, into so it. There's, so there were no funding into that documentary. Connor yeah. did it all off his own back. He <clears> built it all up. He, he obviously uh, scripted. Grand. Yeah, he scripted, <laughs> he scripted <laughs> the voiceovers and everything, and then he, he voiced physically voiced over it himself. And, and then when he came, tell, I've got a right strong <laughs> yeah, like Yorkshire accent. And it's so. like really professional looking, and then you've got Connor's. Well, because I suppose I we're biased. I can hear yeah, Connor's yeah, voice. I'm like, yeah. that just don't fit for me. And I've been seeing different productions myself, like being in the industry. I'm like, just let's pay to get yeah. somebody to voice over it professionally. I think my favorite or thing. Was, let's use Brian Lacey. Yeah, my favorite thing <laughs> yeah. was we were uh, we went back to AVT Leeds after that meeting and stuff because you were training with Diakies, weren't you? That's when you and yeah. Mark were doing some rounds. And I got a phone to my dad, and I was like, "Oh, we, we, well, this is going to happen. We're gonna, we need to find someone to do a voice. So I'm gonna have a look on some websites, blah blah blah, all this kind of stuff." And literally, my dad just went, "Well, you're friends with Brian, why don't you just ring Brian?" I yeah. went, "Why <laughs> didn't I think of that?" Yeah, literally yeah. messaged him, <laughs> and his reply straight away was, "It'd be an absolute honour." Oh, wow. And I think it meant, I think Brian's voice absolutely made yeah, it amazing. Yeah, it were amazing. Oh, so yeah. like so his good. voice just fits it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like it proper sounds. But because he's so passionate about fighting yeah. as well, just yeah. that first line that BKB, you know, what I mean, <laughs> yeah. knuckle box, and you can just tell that he loves sick. it. So I love well, when he commentates as well. It's sick. Oh, he's, he's amazing. He's good in it. So really good. good. Big Brian Lacey. What's him again now? He's been rolling uh, rolling around in his first class cabin on the uh, Emirates I flights, hasn't <laughs> I know, yeah. Hey, the I, cheeky git. Did you see he's um, asking Danny Mitchell for help? Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> God's sake. I know, what a posh guy. <laughs> but yeah, so like the documentary comes out, everyone's got an understanding of you, and then you sort of went underground after yeah. that. Yeah. You got given the world title fight, but all... I can't, uh, yeah, I just kind of kept it. I just didn't want to... You know, just keep pushing. I, after that documentary, I just kind of put it on the low a little bit and just, you know, I just thought, right, I'm just going to knuckle down training. And then, you know what I mean? Just training hard twice a day. But I won't, I won't really post in a great deal, but just keeping it on the low a little bit. Yeah. It kind of got to the point where you were like, have you got any pictures? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you got any pictures I can post? <laughs> really nice stuff. But it was the perfect thing. Yeah. Because you got it to this level, and then it was like, right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna fight the king, we're gonna take his crown, and we'll. we'll, we'll I, I, I mean, there. when when you release the documentary, I'm saying, look, this this cannot stop now. Obviously, no, you put so no. much work into it. I'm like, we have to, like, no, by hook or by crook, we're gonna have to film. We're gonna have to do the, the rest yeah. of this journey because yeah. if he yeah. does take this belt, yeah. and we've not documented it, it's like it's a waste it's sacrilege, of isn't it? Time, yeah, it's a proper it is, sacrilege. Yeah. So no. We've got to do it. Uh, but yeah, so you you go underground. No one really hears from you, and then obviously. The defense labs shite starts coming oh, out, mate. and uh, you're number one on the on the hit list of defense bab. Uh, <laughs> so oh my god! That was I think it funny. made it perfect though, because like everyone was just like, "Oh, he's not even fucking taking it seriously. Yeah. Know, he's yeah. playing around with toilet rolls." Because I was keeping Mitchell. it on the low. I thought, you know, I'm the underdog, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna like shock. I wanted to shock a lot of people as well, which I have, and upset everyone. Yeah, and obviously was just doing piss take videos, like defense lab toilet rolls, <laughs> and everyone's like. Oh my, I was even getting like seeing comments, people <laughs> saying like, I, w I even did one say like during the battle raps. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Was, that, people was, was like, like, this guy's training shit. Like Sweeney's going to batter him. I'm like, <laughs> like doing like, is he actually going to do these shapes in the fight? And I was like, I wasn't planning on, but I actually did because I felt that good. <laughs> so but yeah, it don't work because I got dropped straight after. <laughs> we'll get on to the fight in a minute. I mean, so what, what were the back, like obviously you said a bit of backlash there, but that's literally the only publicity that you had leading up to the fight with these stupid videos yeah. with Danny. How, how did that even come about? Or just Danny's idea one day? Yeah, his house I turned up to Danny um, for training, you know, like a normal day. And uh, it took about two minutes just sat in his front room. He's like, listen, um, we're going to do a video. Just, I've got it planned. We're going to do this. I'm going to sit on the toilet. I'm like, what? <laughs> I've got some toilet roll. You're going to come in and attack me? And uh, his mate Jade was just stood there like, you what? I'm going to video this. And <laughs> honestly, we were laughing our heads off. And then the first time I fell up the stairs, so that was even worse. <laughs> but honestly, it was just hilarious. Because on that first video, I've done like a million views now. Yeah, it's it's had like nearly a million, I reckon. Fuck, crazy. Jesus Christ. It's all I, it's all I could see. <laughs> it's, all I could see was you... When, and Danny Mitchell trying to have a shit, and then you're, <laughs> you're just there trying to attack him. It's like it's just escalated quick, didn't it? Everyone loves it. Danny Mitchell, the marketing genius that yeah. he's more is. famous for his toilet roll defense than he is for fighting. Now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Isn't that? First, first ever twister in Bellator history, but no one knows about that. Yeah, they just it's just oh, he, 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 that's he's a toilet, toilet roll guy. Yeah. That's he should have his own brand, like his face on a toilet roll. If you look at, I mean, if if you could track his like statistics on like Instagram and Facebook, it <laughs> lasts three months. He's gone yeah. from five thousand followers to ten thousand <laughs> on like both. Oh, man. By the way, whoever whoever made that photo that he posted today, please like 
let us know who did that. Yeah, can that you make it? Oh, that was so funny. Where he's holding the toilet roll. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I put a post out last night. And it's the fo- It's a really good photo. It's when you got dropped for the first time. Yeah. And you sort of came back over to the corner. It was funny. Well, you got dropped. You stood up and you stumbled over to the corner and then dropped to your knees again. No. And Danny's like screaming through. And I remember looking going, oh, fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> And then obviously we put a little speech people saying, Defence Lab doesn't work. We need a new plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy, somebody's made, let us know what it is. It was made a toilet roll coming through the ropes. Oh, man. So it's, Danny, it's, Danny must know. It was Danny will know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He'll have to let us know. That's what he's doing while he's sick. Picture. He's just learning how to Photoshop <laughs> at home. That's it. He's not on slots anymore. It's just, uh, it's yeah. just Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So, Lee, let's go, let's go into the fight then. How... How did you prepare for Jimmy? Like, what did you see in his game that were like, right, I know I can beat him? Or were you just outright confident in your abilities over his? Like, was, was Yeah, obviously I was confident as well, but um, Jimmy's got this, you know, he's got that style. The snake. The snake, the cobra. He's got the long arms. It's awkward. He's got he's got an amazing style for BKB. Um, but then, you know, we've done a bit of, uh, we did a bit of studying on him, you know, saying, how can we beat him? Um, obviously to get past the cobra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then... Oh, I've done nine weeks of sparring with Adam Adfield and he's he's actually beat him in a boxing fight and he was perfect, perfect role. You know, I don't think I would have been as good. I wouldn't have been as sharp and I probably might not have won if I didn't do all that training with Adam. So big shout out to Adam Adfield for all your sparring twice a week for about nine weeks. Really? So done a lot of work with Adam. He's, he's obviously, he's fast, he's awkward and he, did, he was replica in Sweeney's style. Yeah. So obviously doing that for nine weeks and then you know Danny had a game plan um Douglas Levi yeah. they're my yeah you know, they're, they're like my little coaches as well training partners um so yeah they had a they had some techniques strategies chip uh, tips and everything so everything just fell into place and it went perfect well that's it I mean Levi said after the fight you're officially a gypsy now yeah you're wel- welcomed into the uh, traveler family <laughs> Levi and Douglas said I can live on their site if I want so <laughs> that's know. it they were clear. <laughs> they were class though. They, they were so yeah. good to have in corner. Oh yeah, they? amazing. Yeah, they, they love it. You know what I mean. So and you, and you know when when Jimmy dropped me twice, like Levi was just I could apparently after this, someone said he was like proper like he, he hated seeing me getting hurt as well. You know, he's, what, Levi. What, I, I, I spoke to Levi afterwards, and they were like, I, can't, I just can't, I couldn't see it. You know, I couldn't. He goes, I, I was saying, get the towel. Yeah. We're gonna throw the towel. You know, it's, it's but hard, it, you know, I was fine. I, I felt fine. You know what I mean? I was, I was even smiling at one point. Well, so the fight. So round yeah. by round, right? So first round comes. You, you you come out, and I'm pretty sure you've cut his mouth open in the first round. Is that right, or is the second? Um, I think it was mainly second, but right. It, yeah, yeah, first round was you know it was like mainly a jab for jab, just yeah. feeling each other out. But even like, the commentators but, gave you that yeah, round. Yeah. I felt I, I felt like I won the first round. Yeah. I just I felt I was a lot sharper. I think I landed definitely a few more punches. I just felt super confident. Yeah. And and the second, yeah. that's where you landed a lot more shots. Yeah, second round, I just felt unbelievable. It was it was mental, right? So the first round, it, it, yeah. I mean, we're proper biased, obviously. We're looking at yeah. it. We saw everything you did, and I'm like, fucking hell, or an yeah. absolute cakewalk. First round, easy. Second round, you've proper smashed his face in. Yeah, yeah. I like, think... I think it was a couple of the right hands. It just landed like yeah, perfect. Right down. And and you could see it, it wobbled him. You know, it shot, it rocked him a little bit. And I think maybe two, uh, maybe four right hand shots in the end of that. And uh, yeah, you could see, I, I could feel like it, he didn't really want it after that. I, could, and I think then I got a bit too confident. Totally. So, I, I, I mean, so the, the second round, <laughs> we'll, we'll get on to that. So the second round, like, like you said, you landed some, yeah. some mega shots. He split his mouth open and you could sort of see it in his eyes like the... Obviously, he's a proper fighter, and he's never going to back down. It's a, yeah. like, there's a reason he's a, he's a veteran yeah. of the sport. But you could sort of see in his eyes that maybe that had knocked his confidence yeah. because you'd like literally sl- like sliced. His, it was like a Joker smile. It was like up yeah. there, you know. Obviously, a lot of people everywhere. just trying to brawl with him, but I was playing his game and like trying to box him. But yeah. I felt I was a lot sharper, and you know, it was kind of just like frustrating him a lot. I was trying to frustrate him. That was the plan as well. Yeah you know, making him come to me. And I think it worked definitely. Yeah, you executed your, your I mean, obviously been in the back before, we could see what, we, we sort of knew yeah. what your game plan you were going to play. And you you did out boxing for two rounds and like, yeah. I could, like I didn't know how easy or hard it was going to be. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I know, like and, in my head, I mean, actually in my head in the second round, I thought, how is this happening? Like yeah. everything's going to, everything's perfect. Yeah. Like, it's like I'm sparring. It's like it was so, everything's it, going too good, yeah. It, so you came into the corner, the second round was done. We, <laughs> and as you were like leading into the third round, just before, you know, they say, right, go again. 
I, I remember Danny just saying, go for the cut, go for the yeah, cut. So that I, was the plan as well. I think I put my arm on Mate- Mateus and he's saying, he's, he's, yeah. he's done it, he's doing it, he's doing <laughs> it. And I'm, I'm like, fuck it. I'm, I'm holding the camera, I'm like, fucking hell, he's doing it. And then I'm thinking, nah, it can't be this easy. No. And sure as shit, yeah. you fucking throw a shape one and he yeah. drops you. <laughs> shape, yeah. Oh, shit. It had to be. We were saying this on the way shape here. One. We? It's like, he didn't just hit you. You had to do that first and then he... Yeah, I'm glad I did that first <laughs> to show Defence Lab. That your don't shit work. don't work. <laughs> And that was proof. I wanted to do it just to like, even though I did get knocked down, it made the fight better. And I just wanted to prove to everyone, well, it don't work. There we go. I got knocked down. I mean, have you ever done any sort of like showmanship or anything that cocky in a fight before? No, never. The no. only thing you've I ever don't done yeah. that I've noticed, you scream at people. Yeah, yeah. And so, in that yeah. Sweeney fight, my favourite clip that I've seen, I don't know who posted it and where it was posted. I think I'm shouting. Let's, you're like, let's go, champ. Let's, let's go, go, champ. Oh, I started amazing. shouting at third. Well, I think it was second round, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I've, you know, I've flagged people in a fight before trying to be the Diaz, but yeah. that was like, yeah, that was the most. You're not I, really theatrical when you fight. You? I think it was because it was just in my head and like everything was going super good. Yeah. And then I just, I banged it out. And then I think, like I say, I got a bit too confident, walked onto a, a shot, a right hand. Yeah. And then, yeah, it, you know, it did rock me and it put me to my knees. I bounced straight back up. And Danny, I could hear Danny and my corner saying, get back down. Because you get an 18 count, don't you? Yeah. It's 18, yeah? I think, yeah, about 18. So Danny just said, get down, just have a breather and just relax. Yeah. You know, get your breath back. And after I felt fine. I was talking to Danny in the corner. Yeah. But um, the commentary were just saying, you know, his, his, his legs are gone, but my legs won't go. My legs are fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want... So the, for those that are listening, the, the video footage has been released tonight according yeah. to... Recon, yeah, tonight BKB. six o'clock. Six BKB, and it'll be it'll be on YouTube as well, yeah. so everyone can watch the fight. Because when you stood back up after that first shot, you it looked like you sort of stumbled a bit yeah. back to the corner. So yeah. we'll see tonight when we see footage again. I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I was walking back a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah, I probably did feel a bit off balance. Yeah. Well, well, I, 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 I say you, you're not you're, fine. Right. you're still yeah. human yeah yeah fucking. Like when, they, when they were saying you know you let his legs are gone he's done blah 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 they, they obviously don't they've obviously not seen you hurt before super biased as well though, didn't that yeah. fucking hell so, like, you've kind of got to understand that like, if you've watched Rico fight MMA and all that kind of stuff when he gets hurt it's like it's like watching Diaz when they get hurt it's yeah. just they, they get better yeah 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 as, if that should makes see sense. me in the gym Jesus <laughs> <laughs> So, the, so the knockdown happens, and then you, you, the, the start of the fight again. Fucking Jimmy Sweeney were ready yeah. to like rip your head off before he'd even said go again. The so he yeah, just stopped. Red, red, red. Like, yeah, yeah, he just... knew that like if if there's an opportunity now to finish it, he's gonna finish it. Yeah. And it, it was a little bit of a brawl back and forth, and just before Bell again, he he dropped you. He dropped me again, yeah. And if, if again when you watch the fight. He goes for this massive overhand right, and he just like you, you dropped your knees. But if he'd have hit you, you'd oh. have been on your knees, and know, he'd have hit you yeah. on the back of your head. Yeah. I know, it was yeah. fucking disgusting. Now, I remember seeing it like, what the fuck? <laughs> you, know? Yeah. Ah, you know, screaming bollocks yeah. off. But it's all split second stuff, though, isn't it? Yeah, so, it's fucking yeah. mental to watch. Then I got but back up again, did so the count. <laughs> do you think you, you? It was your conditioning that sort of got you to 100%, that point. Yeah, I think because I was super fit and obviously your recovery that, that if you want fit then you're not going to get up from punches like that and I think that's what um, definitely did it because I was super fit you know trained my ass off and my recovery was just perfect yeah I felt I felt back to normal in the fourth well you know I was, I was I was trying to recover more but by the fifth I was like back brand new again well yeah. I think the fourth round was um, so it comes out in the fourth he split he cut his eye as well didn't you so, yeah Comes out in the fourth again, just a nice back and forth. I believe we were in the fourth round where he actually stopped the fight himself. Yeah, you know, to, he wipe got, his, to, to wipe his to wipe his eye, eye which I thought were bullets because yeah, you, you I obviously. Was, I mean, it's the it's the referee's the one that stops the fight. Yeah. The fighters fight until yeah, till the fight shouldn't really stop. But I watched it back and I think he did have a bit of Vaseline because they put Vaseline on his nose. I don't think they should have put that much on. It was a massive, yeah, a massive chunk. Yeah, yeah. Running, and I think yeah. it got into his eye. So you know. Yeah, but so look how respectful you were as a fighter. Yeah, yeah. You know, to, I, to like actually not. I could have chinned him there. Could have chinned him. Well, his which, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Like the round before, he dropped you for the second time and nearly took your fucking head off. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, that's yeah. pretty. That's dirty fighting. That's dirty yeah. boxing. I just he, think he wanted to get the fight done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but and then you you gave him chance. an opportunity. Yeah, like yeah. you could have just yeah. smashed his face in when he couldn't uh, see. Yeah. So you get you get through the fourth. I think again it was the fourth where you hit him over in our corner and blood just went. We got Everywhere. fucking yeah. like... Commentators had it all over oh, him. So <laughs> like, it would just drip in blood and he, you hit him. I remember just punching him and like, 
<laughs> I kept going for the same cut because I yeah. was like, I'm just going to open it up more. And I can remember just jabbing him and the blood was squirting at me, like yeah. everywhere. My hand was like just covered in, but like just dipped it in oil or something. It was disgusting. <laughs> I mean, like I, I looked at Danny and he looked at me and I had like a drip of blood on my forehead. <laughs> I had some on my arm. I saw it land on my arm. Yeah. And then there were a bit on the camera lens and I was like, this is disgusting. It was this. Uh, Sammy the, Sammy the uh, cut, cut, cut lady. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She were covered she in were, it, weren't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah she like she just face did. were covered. <laughs> well, I should have had a straightener. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that should come out of like a blade film, you know. It were awful. My face yeah. was after the first two rounds, my face was fine. It looks like no marks, and then obviously the third is when he cut me, yeah, like a few times. But, but you, it's just like one little cut on you. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's the, fine. They now. glued it up, didn't they? Yeah, just put a bit of glue on it. Yeah, so obviously fifth round again, much of much of a muchness. Seventh, yeah. uh, it got stopped by the the doc. Which yeah. we no, it, so it went fine. Oh, it went, sorry, six. Yeah, so six, sorry. The fifth round. That's uh, where you started landing more shots. That's again. where I started being more confident again. Yeah. So, and then uh, it was kind of just back and forth, and uh, I felt I definitely won that round again, hundred yeah. um, percent. Um, and then obviously, even the commentators said I won the round. And then it got to the six. I think it got to uh, maybe a minute in, just under a minute in, yeah. and that's when the doctor stopped it. Yeah, it was mental. But, so again, you could see. You could see it in Jimmy's eyes, in his face. You, you couldn't. I don't think he could breathe properly. Even no. obviously his nose was like. I think it must have been broke. But he's, you know what I mean. You can't breathe for your nose, yeah. and then his his mouth's just like covered in blood. So, you know, you, it's hard to. He had another like round and a half to go. So obviously, due to like you know the safety of fighters, you've got to stop it. Yeah, and he was fucked up. And that was my his game face. plan. You know, from round two, I've 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 cut him, and I thought Danny just said, you know, keep going for the cut. Finish him. Yeah. Like this, this is the game plan. So even though I stopped with a cut at the like end of the day, I've, like, I've, I've smashed his face in. Like his face is like fucked. Do you know what I mean? So Totally. I think, yeah, it's undeniable what, what took place that night. And I think even he will admit it. Like yeah. he, he put a, does he not put a post out after saying like yeah. respect yeah, yeah, to yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, um, Definitely. But, you know, everyone's, people comments on my stuff, like on my fans. And then I think sometimes he gets frustrated with them. And, you know, it's just, it's just what trolls and fans are, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It happens everywhere. They just chat a lot of shit, but... I mean, that, so we, we released that video the day after, uh, the morning after of when uh, the fight got stopped from that, from like the corner cam and we, we heard your brother saying... Huh. He's shaking, shaking his head. shaking his head. He's shaking his head. head. And then, I think that proper hit home for people, yeah, like no. the passion yeah, that was, all yeah, the corner had. Yeah, a lot of people said that, yeah. Cause when you, you sent me it before you posted yeah. it, didn't you? And I, I watched it and I showed my girlfriend it as well and we were both just like... Nearly in tears. Like nearly crying, yeah, honestly. Yeah. It was mad. You could see, cause it was, yeah, because it was from the <coughs> corner. It was from there, and you could hear it. Oh, it was just mad, wasn't it? Amazing. Like From from Mateus's point of view as well, because my brother, well, he fought, he used to fight. I know what that feels like when you get that big win. Yeah. Like My yeah. brother fought on Bama, and as soon as he won, there's me and my yeah. dad in his corner. So there's yeah. me, my dad, and my brother. You know what I mean? We're just running massive hugs, <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. It feels amazing. Yeah, so yeah. to watch Mateus do it's that, unreal, isn't it? chuck you on his shoulders, he's just screaming. It's the screech. Because it's not even just a scream, it's like a screech. It's yeah, like a banshee yeah. in it, the way he's screaming. Yeah. It's amazing. We both did. We were both just shouting. I was just like, because when the doctor stopped it, I didn't really look because I was getting my face wiped and I didn't even expect it to be stopped because no. I was just like, I was in fight zone. You know what I mean? So I was ready to carry on, but then. It was just a mad feeling that was, yeah. yeah I, think, get... I think it's safe to say Mateus was very happy. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. I mean, like, so that's probably the first time I've had a chance to chat yeah. with him, get to know him. And I did, we didn't really talk much, you know, we, we were at yeah. the weigh-ins and he just sort of sat back, didn't say anything, yeah. you know. He just sort of went about his business all day, in back, he just yeah. sat there, you know, he just didn't, again, and didn't it, say much. I think because he was proper ill, he? He had, I think he had a bit of a flu. He was like, yes, yeah, proper yeah. ill, but. Yeah, he's, yeah, it was quiet. <laughs> Top bloke, though. Yeah, Top and then even at Corny, just sat there, just like let Danny and, and the coaches do the thing. And yeah, so well, it's good to have him in the back, you know, like um, it just keeps you in your comfort zone. Yeah, like, yeah. Good people around you, positive people. Well, you put a really nice so, post out about him as well, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And I see Big Shannon only broke around on barriers. <laughs> really? What? She was going crazy. <laughs> I think when I got dropped the third round, she was like holding on to me mate, grabbing his arm like, what's going on? <laughs> and then she was smashing on the barrier and she said, I think I've broke my hand off. <laughs> Bless that. Yeah, she, I must put her through hell as well, obviously. I, I was going to say that. Like, like, my brother, it? my missus, no, everyone. Put her. Like, uh, even my dad, he was like nearly crying. He was crying after, I think. So everyone's just like, it's just emotional, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it were a big moment though, wasn't it? Like, like even my fans, like some of my fans were like in tears yeah, like, yeah. because of it. It's like, it's, 
it's good to see, isn't it? Really, it were amazing. Yeah. I mean, like obviously you won the fight, and then you went and uh, you went down to the front barrier and spoke to everybody. And, yeah, got and, blood on everyone. Yeah, which <laughs> like you just you looked <laughs> exhausted. You you know your face is hanging off. You could barely breathe out your nose, just and you <laughs> you there chatting to people, taking pictures, it's and cool. I just yeah. I felt I, I felt awful for him. I was like, yeah. can't you just go back for like have a shower or something and come back out? Like, I think I just. I, yeah, it, was, it just went too quick. I was just like, what the fuck? This is crazy. It's just mad that how many different kind of people were emotional about it. Yeah, like yeah. My, my, my girlfriend's little sister's just turned 11. Yeah. She's his biggest fan. <laughs> we met her a t-shirt. So Rico Franco's number one fan on that. And she literally, when he got dropped, she's like, oh, is that nearly crying? Yeah. And then he wins. She's screaming, crying. I'm nearly crying. <laughs> it's like, oh, I couldn't believe it. it was I couldn't even imagine, like I were there for the Connolly fight. Yeah. And that was that was a rough one to watch because it was, that were a scrap. Yeah, or, yeah. I can't even imagine what it felt like for you having to film him being dropped. And I can just imagine your heart like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I, on that third, on the second round, I just had this like, when your brother said to me, oh, he's doing it. Like he just said, he basically said, he's doing it, he's beating, you know, he's beating. And I'm, and I'm like, yeah. And then I said, the stomach just dropped. I had this gut feeling. I'm like, nah, <laughs> it can't be this easy. It's not this fucking easy. Sure as shit, you got dropped next round. I'm like, like obviously, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Cause people, people from the outside they just watch a fight don't they yeah, but when yeah. you're involved with the person you know, that's, that's fighting how, it's that's how much it could just change in a split second yeah. Jimmy's yeah. a champ he's got you know he's all that experience he's got and bare knuckle you know he knows how to do it and he just showed he, I walked onto a shot and he chinned me basically yeah. that's <laughs> why he's a, he was a champ for so long I think we need to talk briefly about, about the uh, the dead man that's not in the room uh, Danny Mitchell Danny Mitch, because <laughs> Huh. Yeah, I, I hope he's listening at home. He's ghost, <laughs> his ghost is there. Yeah, right. but um, <laughs> what a guy! Oh, you know, unbelievable! Yeah, I just I'm kind of glad he's not here now actually because we can actually talk yeah, about him. But <laughs> say some nice things. Yeah, like yeah. he's for those that I mean, most people are going to know Danny's, especially watching this. But like, I don't think people quite understand how much he lives and breathes this like art Every form. Day. Like yeah. martial arts is his life. He's training, coaching, and he'll be at UFC one weekend, and he'll be in. A working men's club next. Yeah, that's, yeah. cornering, that's the best. Part. He's cornering Mark DeCasey and then Joe Bloggs. Like it don't matter who he's, he puts the same effort into every yeah, single yeah. person. Like every weekend is just like you know what I mean. Is it London and me? Then this weekend there was like an amateur fighter on in Sunderland. He had yeah. to drive like three hours, but you know what I mean. That's he does it just off his own back. That's it. He's at cage. He does it for free. You know what I mean. Like he don't get nothing out of it. <coughs> he, just, he just loves it. Help, yeah. Helping people, and it's that. mental. He's at Cage Steel this weekend. Huh. Weekend after, he's at World Title Fight again for Scott Askham to yeah, defend exactly. his, yeah, his yeah. belt at KSW. You know, yeah, yeah. It, top like bloke. I say, I don't get enough credit for what he does. You know no. what I mean? Well, that uh, was a nice post you put out about. Yeah, him, I, you know, uh, he's got like how many fighters? Fifty odd fighters, and you know, people just kind of just take advantage. Yeah. Not like everyone appreciates it, but. He don't, I don't think he, does he, get he never asked for he never asked for the recognition and yeah. it's all no matter what, like if there's a big fight it's about the fight eh? like no one ever really looks at the corner no. if yeah, he's yeah. there always putting the work in but like I've I've been fortunate enough to be in the corner of quite a few like a few fights with Danny now and like it's just his his composure like he has seen yeah. everything, no, everything. <laughs> like there's nothing that he has not seen that, yeah, no position exactly. nothing so he can offer value to a fighter yeah he's got so much experience yeah. you know what I mean like that's why I love having him in the corner because. Like when I got dropped, you could see him. Like even on the video, you could see him just like a lot of people would go fuck like this. And Danny was just like, "Listen, just do this, do that," and he was just like, "Just take a few deep breaths." And yeah. like, he's just so chill. Do you know what mm. I mean? He's he's so laid back. Like he's got all his own fighters, right? And that and he obviously looks after them. But I I'm I obviously coach as well. And like my my sister's fighting one of his fighters on Saturday. Yeah. Me and him are still friends. Whenever I want help with coaching yeah yeah i can ask him i was trying to, and explain, I know he, I was trying to explain that to somebody over there like start, like that's not doesn't know the fighting world but I was like the, the fighting world's actually quite small like everyone knows yeah. everyone yeah. you know i i before sort of coming into it i thought it'd be quite yeah like no, large yeah. and broad across countries but no everyone knows everyone and yeah I'm, like I'm, I'm 23 and i've known danny well of danny since i was probably about eight because he used to fight on my dad's shows back in the day when it was yeah. like like in a working yeah. men's club. Yeah, he was yeah. just in a pub in Wheatley. <laughs> Danny Mitchell's <laughs> fucking leg kicking people, <laughs> winning by leg kicks on a Saturday night. I think but Danny were doing seminars when he was like 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, he was, I'm not even joking. But that's how long he's done it for. And the fact that like, he had his, all his, his his own big career, he yeah. trained himself, and then yeah. now he's got... He's yeah, got that's another thing. Like, obviously, you don't get enough credit for what he's achieved. Yeah. Like... He got into the UFC just by training himself. People don't even know that. Like, he's never had a coach no. to like coach him and tell him what to do. He's just done it all himself and like learned himself. That's it. Like, it's completely crazy. paved the way. Like, he's <laughs> but no one knows that, do they? No. So it's, it's 
just behind the scenes. That's why all the young people that are just starting training appreciate your first coach. (laughs) Especially if it's someone like Danny Mitchell, if that's your coach, like... So that, they've I mean, got a lot of knowledge. That's it. Like that's a massive factor of that fight there to give you the confidence to to be in the corner after yeah. going through that adversity and seeing him, and he's just like, listen, just yeah. take a breath, chill out, take your eighteen count, and then go again. Go again, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. There's nothing worse yeah. than if you're in the fight, then and your corner team, your coach flapping, is flapping it because yeah. <laughs> if they're flapping it, what am I doing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I mean? true. Yeah. Like I've been in fights where I've been in trouble. And I've always had my dad in my corner, so it's a little bit different because obviously it's my dad. But yeah. I've been in trouble, and I'll look over and he'll be like, "Look, you're fine. Like, don't worry about it." Whereas if it was someone else, I might turn around and be like, oh, "What's happening? What's <laughs> happening?" I think, yeah, you know how you perform is like with your cornerman. Like, you know, you're all a team, but you know, like in between rounds is like it's important as well. Like Danny's got a few tricks and like little tactics what he uses, yeah. you know, to like try and trick your mind because. A lot of the time when you go back to the corner, your mind's telling you, I'm, I'm fucked, I'm, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I can't, you know what I mean? But then Danny just gets you positive again. But I'm always, I've always been strong-minded, but, you know, he, he uses it on different fighters. Well, yeah, he, again, he, he can yeah. analyse different people's exactly, yeah, yeah. fighting styles. And, yeah, yeah, I think it's... It, it's all in it, your mind as well, you know what I mean? It's got to be positive. And it's about saying the right thing in that one minute that mm. you've got, because yeah. there's a, I, I've seen it, I've cornered with a lot of different people, and, like, you go into the corner in between rounds and they just tell you a lot of irrelevant shit that you don't need <laughs> yeah. to hear. It's like, it's it, you're trying really to give you technical <laughs> point, yeah, trying to give you like technical pointers in the middle of a round. It's like, no, you just need to tell them to yeah. breathe. Yeah, like I've seen a lot of people in corners like, right, you need to get your hands up, you need to go one, two, step back, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> slip, slip his jab, right uppercut, self-defence. <laughs> and like, shape two, shape shape two. One, It's like you've got a minute and your head's just thrashed. You can't be telling them techniques to Yeah, do. you're just trying to breathe. It's yeah. kind of, you know, it's basics, isn't it? But, yeah. <laughs> people think that coaching is just right. I'm going to tell you to train and do this for a couple of weeks and then in fight, I'll tell you to hit, hit him and it'll all be all right. But yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's really fucking not. Nah. Uh, he's, he's a funny guy, is Danny, isn't it? I mean, like, if you look at him, so yeah. I had his comeback fight at um, Sheffield Arena, you know, a few months back. Oh, yeah. And, like, that were chaos. Like, I think he got sick for that, yeah, and yeah. then it, it's the night of the fight. He's match made. He's done the matchmaking for the biggest yeah. event that Cage Steel's ever had. Yeah. He's, he's trying to get fighters in. You know, everyone's phoning he's, him all the time. He's, he's cornered. Everyone. He's cornered every fighter, <laughs> and then it's like. Oh yeah, Danny, you're on next. Like, so oh, Danny's yeah. like, right, sound, puts on some country music in back, starts doing a bit of shadow boxing, gets his hand wrapped, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. And then he goes out and, f- and fights. And yeah, then he, he finishes his fight, goes back in back, takes corners his pants off. Everyone again. Yeah. And goes with and a, corners everyone again. Finger. With a snap with a finger. finger. It's like, what a guy. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? <laughs> Good on history, that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, that, that Sheffield night was crazy. Yeah. That was just long and crazy. Like I had I had my sister and Jack both fight during the day and then it got to the pro card and obviously yeah. Danny I couldn't I had I only had two people to call and I can't even imagine what fucking Danny yeah. felt no. like. No, it's mental, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that most I've had on a night is probably five people in one in one night. Well mind you saying that I took five kids to Rome. When, oh, they yeah. did, when they did the world championships and oh, that yeah. was a nightmare so I can't even imagine having to corner <laughs> 20 that? odd fights in one night whilst having to have a bare knuckle boxing no. fight as well crazy well, well, I mean that. <laughs> on Cage Steel is it, uh, this weekend is it, this yes. Saturday innit um, yeah, yeah. we've got how many fighters obviously the, the well, like let's nine. talk about your sister yeah. actually let's talk about yeah. your sister and Amy yeah. so how are you feeling for this one I like, absolutely cannot wait because I've, I've like I've had to be coach brother and training partner yeah yeah and i tell you what mate i just can't wait to for me not to get hit in the head <laughs> for somebody else to get hit in the head um but that first fight was amazing i think it's exactly what she needed because she took she had loads of time off yeah she fought when she was younger she'd kickboxing tournaments all that kind of shit and really didn't have an mma fight other than when she was 14 yeah 13 something like that and that's a long time to not have an mma fight and i think the way it happened and the way it went down was perfect because it was a very competitive fight. She was down two rounds yeah, on the yeah. judges. And I told her, that's what I told her in between yeah. the second and third. That's why she came out and, well, finished it. Yeah, yeah. And I looked at her and I said, right, you're down two rounds. If you don't go out and fucking finish her, you've lost. That's and it, do like, you want to lose? And Amy, she was like, no. <laughs> Amy looked class, you know. Like, yeah, Amy's a quality fighter. Yeah. And I've, I said to Megan straight away, I was like, you've got the rematch. Expect her to be ten times better this second. Totally, time. yeah, yeah. Because I mean, a- Amy's going to take it. Like I, I did all the promo stuff. I went and uh, obviously spoke with yeah. Amy and sat and talked to her and filmed the training and that. And even she, she like, I'm going to be better next time. Yeah, and I'm going to come out and win. And I'm like, that's what we want. That's what yeah. you want. Well, yeah. like, naturally, like Amy will, will have been disappointed after that fight. And I think if in that time between that fight and this fight, if she, if she's took on board what happened, 
because I think it was just a, a bit more maturity going into this next fight and, yeah. and keeping composure. Because yeah. if she just puts on the performance she did last time, she'll. Oh, no, mate, I know, I know, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, she would beat her again. Yeah, like, yeah, if she just yeah, did what she yeah. did before and finished the three rounds, and she'd she'd win on a decision, yeah. you know. So, she's, like, that's that's what I saw last time. Yeah, yeah. And but no doubt that you've been oh, training mate. your bollocks off to make him. So this fight's gonna be amazing. It's, it really is, and I think, I think because there's <laughs> yeah. that many good like title fights on yeah. this card. And don't get me wrong, we only did, we we put, I think we've probably put like five or six promos out, but I think that's the one that's kind of going under. Totally, yeah. And it's like because it, don't get me wrong, female MMA always gets underrated. Yeah. And it shouldn't. I hate it. It I agree, really yeah, shouldn't I agree. because some of the best fights you've ever seen are women. Yeah. And and that first fight was very competitive and I've, obviously we're speaking to them both. Uh, this fight, they're, they're both yeah. going to come out to smash each other. <laughs> and like, just, just to AVT, just to argue, like, you look at look at Amy, like she's the, I think the only female fighter. Yeah, she yeah, spars yeah. with the lads. Like she trains. She's 16, 16 yeah, she's yeah. like 17. She, she yeah. trains with the lads. All the guys, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, she'd go like, I can't, honestly, I can't it's going to be sick. Fight, mate. It's <laughs> going to be a quality fight. And, uh, and on top of that, Bram's fight, main event. I know, yeah. So Bram's now the main wait. event. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I think he deserves it though, doesn't he? Yeah, he deserves. I mean, look at I mean, look at his performance last time. That spinning elbow finish, which were just out yeah. of this world yeah. again. But then like, even like just before that, like he finished Danny missing with a body shot. Yeah, you know I mean, it was just a simple one, two, left to the body. <laughs> and did you see his last fight? Obviously, that yeah, was in Sweden. Short notice. Yeah. So he's gonna have a lot of confidence from there, beating a good guy. And again, like that was so good for Bram to go through again some yeah. adversity. Like it, it, what, that were a tough fight. Oh, like, that were a tough. I, I, he, I, couldn't, he couldn't even. Uh, I don't think he could even spar properly because he had problems with his knees. That's right. So yeah, yeah. He just went in swinging, that. trading shots, and you know what I mean. It was a good fight. Yeah, like he, he's he, Bram is. If you've watched him kickbox or you've watched MMA, he's an exciting person to watch. He's yeah. never in a boring. He's like fight. a whip it in. He's sharp, fast, and 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 like his fight IQ as well. He's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Like which I guess I I didn't underestimate it, but the only time I got to see it properly was when we did the commentating on Risk. Yes, and yeah. Bram got yeah, to like yeah. Bram. <laughs> he was like he just switched on. I was like, what's going on here? So like, like he's born to do it. He was <laughs> born was to do it. I think, and I think that was my favorite commentary <laughs> team. That that was so good. <laughs> Proper exaggerating. It was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. Brown sat there. We just sat there drinking. I think Brown again. We were about three weeks out from a fight, and he sat there with me and him drinking. He's yeah, like, yeah, "I'm, I'm, last fight. I'm yeah, on a weight cut." Like, oh. <laughs> I think the only thing I don't like seeing Bram do is weigh in. Oh yeah, <laughs> looks like a fetus. Yeah, it was rough to me. <laughs> but no, I think he definitely deserves that main event spot because the amount of fans he brings, especially yeah. to Donny Dome. Yeah, like, I know he had a lot of people there for Sheffield, but yeah. you've not been to. I've been to Dome. No, I'm a, I'm wait, mate, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, because yeah. because it, it's it's big, but it's quite small at the same time, yeah. and there is a lot of people there. It's like two thousand people there, right. and. Bram sells a lot of tickets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and he, with him being the main event, all his mates are going to be absolutely arsehole. <laughs> the time he so they're going to be even louder. Well, if, if um, again, we'll give a shout out to XS Guard. So XS Guard sponsors a lot of the fighters. Yeah. Uh, sponsors. XS Guard. Yeah, sponsors Bram. Um, and on Bram's gum shield, he's got the crown pub. So like, yeah. uh, I know yeah, that so Bram's going to be ready for a pint afterwards. <laughs> oh, mate, yeah. <laughs> so he, he, he put on his Instagram the other day, I think it was the Danny Missing fight. He's getting his hand raised or just before he gets yeah, that's hand right, and yeah. he points up, he's like, get me a Jaeger bomb, mate. <laughs> 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 but it, I think that fight, for, for me, that main event is perfect because Deck that he's fighting, I've watched Deck fight since 2004. Right, he used, yeah, he used yeah, to yeah, fight on the right same age. shows that Danny did yeah, yeah, when yeah. Danny was younger. And... Deck, I think this is like his 30th MMA fight. He's fight Nico or three times, yeah. hasn't he? <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. Nico's <laughs> a legend. Nico three times. Um, but he, he's got a very he's, he's got a very long record of people that he's fought. Yeah. And for him to still be at the top. Yeah, yeah. And Adam's now got to there. So if you get, if you can beat Deck, that's he's going through the roof. Sky's the limit. I isn't can't it? wait. I the else we got on? Right. We've got Louis fighting uh, Tom fighting. Crosby. Yeah, Louis fighting. Louis got uh, an Italian, Italian guy dude, now. Yeah, yeah. four yeah. and zero. I think no. Is it? Four, Four and now, yeah. 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 Crosby's yeah, fighting. Who's was Tom fighting? Not sure. Well, Tom's fighting. Yeah. I mean, Nan's right excited for that because <laughs> she loves she loves Tom. Yeah. So he walked out at Sheffield because she likes Vikings apparently. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He, 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 he I walked. Think, out I think there's like, like that? 19 fights and there's like 14 from ABT on, so yeah. it's gonna be a busy wow. one. I'm pretty sure there's about four, uh, maybe five or six title fights as well. Yeah, the, James, yeah. the James Green, Oliver Harriet. Yeah, fight, I'm looking forward to the James Green really fight. Good. I do I do a bit of training with him yeah. sometimes, like wrestling in Gainsborough, so. I've seen him train. He's a proper good lad. He's he's looking strong, so I'm looking forward to that fight. He's another one that's fought for a long time. He has. He's been around ages boxing and that. When he started yeah. training, it was with me. With, with well, not with me because obviously I were about eight, but <laughs> like our team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He started with us, yeah. and he, I think he had his first fight with us. And to see him still fighting now, 
His, yeah. ma- I mean, his, his missus ain't very happy though. He's uh, <laughs> skipping out on centre parts, but uh, priorities. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's uh, more of a striker, but obviously his his wrestling's come on loads. Like I can remember him first started coming up a little bit, but he's improved like so much. You know what I mean? He's a strong guy and he's just game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and tough. The- Kyomes, Nath Thompson, three. That's, that's yeah, that'll that's, be a good one. That's a sleeper fight for me because yeah. everyone's still buzzing about it, but I don't think they're, they're expecting it to be as good as it's going to be. So many good fights lined up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a good it, deal. It, it I think today's like probably the deadline. If you are listening or watching, um, today will be the deadline to get a ticket if you're going to yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, especially through a fight. Through a fighter, yeah. yeah. I don't know if you can buy it. They're in tomorrow, so yeah. they're giving the tickets. Because if, if you're that dickhead that leaves it till weigh-in day or fight night to get a ticket, then you're not getting one. That's basically what. Mate, I was getting is. people messaging me. This is for a world title fight. <laughs> like I was, I was still getting mess. My phone was like on playing old tunes, so it was there, and I just kept getting notifications. Someone's message is saying, "Oh, how can I watch your fight? <laughs> like, is there a link? Can you send me a link?" I'm like, "I'm going out for a fight in about an hour. <laughs> you really think I'm going to reply to you?" <laughs> it was put, well, when, we, when we put that video out the day after, they were like. I got my DMs just started flying in. Yeah, Where can yeah. I watch the full fight? Where can I watch people the People still like, message me. Yeah. Fight TV app. Buy yeah. the fucking yeah. thing. People like, message me. Yeah. Yeah. Straight after the fight. Where can I watch the full fight? Well, if you really was a fucking good fan. You'd have bought, bought it. it. Yeah. Okay, I don't, yeah. I, I bought it straight away, me. Because yeah. when, when as soon as I realised I couldn't go to London... That but it's really not even like how much uh, fucking seven quid or something is it seven yeah, I think uh, 12 no. quid, oh, wait, 12 quid. So what's 12 yeah. quid yeah but I mean even like so Cage Steel this weekend packed with fights the fucking pay-per-view is like 6 or yeah. something just yeah, buy yeah. the pay-per-view yeah, stop yeah. being a tight Definitely. bastard it's, it's really not that and the thing is with, you're with, welcome Dom there's the plug <laughs> for you with, <laughs> with fighters though like they're, they're, the tickets that they're selling it's not just for oh my mates are coming to watch yeah. me fight they make money off of it yeah, especially yeah. amateurs like it, like amateur you get your ticket deal you don't even get paid for your fight yeah so if you're going to be a tight ass and not pay your mate 35 quid for a ticket all they're bothered about obviously they want you there but that fiver or tenner or whatever they get for the ticket deal they're making some money for yeah. the especially with people who don't like work like don't work they yeah do it for a living you know what i mean like, well i mean like yourself like, like people don't yeah. understand like you leading into this this uh world title fight you, you were training twice you were training like an, yeah. a proper professional athlete yeah. And the money, it's not like the money, what you'd ex- people look at and they're like, oh yeah, well, UFC, does UFC for an example, I think it's like 10 and 10, isn't it? What, 10 grand yeah, and 10 first, grand? Yeah. So people, yeah. and it was like, oh, 20 grand for a fight, that's classic. Well, yeah, if you win, 20 grand's good. Yeah, yeah. but if you but lose, if you it's, lose it's 10 grand. Yeah, and you've got a manager that's probably going to take 20%, so you're exactly. down at eight. Yeah, yeah. Then you've got to yeah. pay your taxes. And you, you know, know how much a fight camp is? Like, yeah. people don't know how much you spend you, the, in the a fight camp. The amount that you and Danny it's drive between... It's less than minimum... Like, it's yeah. way less than minimum wage. Like, yeah. you're fucking... There's no money in it, you know? Having two hours just to get to the gym, just to get there. Yeah. And then, and then you've two got, hours back. And then on the flip side of that, you've got them people that work a full-time job. Then they train all day, especially yeah, exactly. amateur. Like, our, our Megan, for example, yeah. she works six in the morning, finishes... She gets home at five at night, and then she's at the gym at six. Don't get home till nine. No. Goes to bed. Goes to work again. You know People, what I mean? It's uh, yeah, it's, it don't, it, mad. that's another side of the sport that no one gets to see, which again is like fascinating that you mad bastards put yourself through it, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> I've got to go to like a job. That's why I've gone to coaching. I don't yeah. have to do that anymore. I can have a coach's diet mad. and eat what I like. I just love so. the old process. Like I love the training. I love the fight camp. I love the like the weight. Like every like, like last fight, I, I enjoyed it. absolutely everything. You know what I mean? Like, Weighing in, just the whole build up of the fight, and then even like warming up in the back. A lot of people hate it, but I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Like, you know what I mean? Tunes on, it was just chill. You're class. Then, you're class. Like, you got to see all that yeah. as well, which is, you know, it's, people don't see it. Like, all the bit, you can feel all the emotion in there. It was so funny, right? So, like, you, bearing it, man, we're, we're in the back, there's probably eight people, but no, maybe seven people. Yeah. Uh, and out of everybody, I was the only one that wants shadow boxing. <laughs> Honestly. So I think you'd stop shadow boxing. You're like chilling out. And Douglas, everybody's like, everybody. Douglas and, Douglas and Levi shirts <laughs> everyone, off everyone, shadow boxing. Yeah. <laughs> everyone gets into the zone, don't yeah, you? Yeah, every like, it will go to war. Everybody's going yeah. to war. Everybody like, yeah. If I go to war, everyone, all my team's going to war. It were amazing. Every, being, in that back, being in that back room, whether it's at the O2 in London or it's at fucking social club down the street, yeah. You yeah. either make it or break it in that changing room. Yeah, totally. If you're not there 100%. before you fight. I felt amazing. That was the best I've ever felt, yeah. like, warming up for that fight. It was the biggest fight of my life, and I felt, like, the best, like, mentally. Am I right in thinking? You didn't You didn't hit any pads. You didn't do anything. No. Just but, shadow box. It would be hard, like, because no. I remember after this thinking. Like, yeah, yeah. He hadn't, shadow, he hadn't hit any pads. He hadn't done any sort of combinations. No. You'd literally, 
Every single BKB on. fight, I just put your pants, put your pants on, on and shut a box. Right. 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 Just say I've got an hour to go. I'll put my shorts on, just like have a little loosen off, little move around, and then I'll do a bit of like just a bit of uh, general like sparring, but just drilling, drilling yeah. a little bit with Levi or whatever, and then go through a few things. But then I'll just shadow box and I'll get a good sweat on. It was, it was unbelievable. Yeah. I was like, Proper is, this, is that it? It, it will fight any man, anywhere, oh, anytime. <laughs> you'll, you'll see it at fight shows though, Rico. Obviously, I know, Josh, you've not really like, been around in the back of like a, yeah. like a small fight show. There's people that just do way too much before they go out to fight. Yeah. They come out, they're just dripping with sweat. They're absolutely knackered. It's like that bit of energy that you've just, that, all yeah, that yeah. energy you've yeah. just yeah. used, you could have used in a cage where someone's going to try and fucking punch Rip, your, head your head off. off. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, in... My my thing now when we when we go to fight they'll they'll stretch they'll do a little bit of warm up if they want to do pads they, they can yeah Not basically just do whatever they want yeah. they're comfortable and they're happy with doing do you know it's, what I mean yeah. make so them when feel you get good them coaches that are like right you need to do twenty star jumps come on do some burpees yeah. let's do some pads and that You're it's fucking like pagged. like when, no. like when our, our, Sa- our Sam his Bama fight so his biggest win undoubtedly was on Bama yeah won by submission in the fir- in, in, in first round we literally he got his hands wrapped. Went into the changing room. Me and him stretched for maybe seven minutes at the most. They went, oh, you're fighting now. I went, all right, no worries. <laughs> went out and had a fight. You don't need to. There's people that like, they, they make it. them do things that they've not even done in training camp. Know, and it's yeah. like, why are you showing me something new now? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go and have a fight now. That's yeah. the only thing that's going to be yeah. in my head. I'm going to forget everything else. I can remember amateur fight. I took I took one on half an hour notice and I did five, <laughs> five burpees. <laughs> Five burping in us and I was out. My hands weren't even wrapped properly. <laughs> I was like, you're on. I was like, oh, yeah, Sam. Sam I didn't yeah. even have a gum shield. I had to like get someone else's gum shield and try and mould it in my mouth. And it was like, it wasn't even in properly. That was against Johnny Savile, actually. <laughs> That's some old school shit. That was that, ages yeah. ago, yeah. Fuck it <laughs> out. Remoulding a mouth guard. That's mental. <laughs> right, so we'll start sort of wrapping up. What's what's next then? Like what? Yeah, so um, there's talks of a rematch, the uh, BKB. He's got some yeah, healing up to do, hasn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, they're saying maybe April the 4th for a rematch. But uh, the next show is actually Jan- end, end of January. Is it like yeah. 27th of January? But we've actually got that. That's a big card as well, if anyone wants to uh, watch that. Yeah, we've got Matt Hodgson Matt on. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's on the show next. Big that's fight. Against that American guy that yeah, wore that Eric fucking Olsen. mask. Yeah. Yeah, he was mad in, wasn't he? That's yeah, going to be a big fight, that, though, because Olsen's a, legend. a tough cunt, isn't he? He's yeah. funny. He's funny, Eric. He's like he's undefeated in uh, BKB as well. Yeah. I think he's like 3-0. He's just got, you know, he's just tough. You know? So that'll be a good fight. Matty coming in. Matty's undefeated as well. He's had someone, uh, a different show. But yeah, he's that'll be a good fight. And he's a big boy, Matty, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. He's a very big boy. <laughs> I think that, yeah, they're starting to announce all the fights on the next show now. So that'll be a good fight. But then the one after, they'll want me to maybe have a rematch. But nothing's confirmed. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking to do MMA definitely next year as well. So uh, me and Danny will just... Go, just get Christmas out of the way and enjoy that. and That's then it, enjoy your family time. And yeah, I just definitely want to... I'm still training now. I'm back training, doing a bit of grappling. But yeah, I'm, I've got the itch for MMA again. So. That's it all. I mean, you can demand a good price now. Like, it's, this has yeah, yeah. absolutely catapulted your career. Yeah. yeah. Hasn't it? You know? Definitely, yeah. KSW, where you at? Huh. Yeah. Where you at? That's yeah, it, so get over there with Scott. Honestly, like, I've had a few losses. I'm six and four in pro MMA, but... The losses I've had have been to like you know proper legit guys. One of them's in UFC now, that yeah. Russian guy, and then one of them fought MVP the other day. Oh yeah, he, yeah. Lost, he obviously got knocked out. But <laughs> you know what I mean? The high yeah. level guys. I ain't lost, I've, a lot of them have been last minute fights as well. So I I didn't really take my pro career. I was ill. I was quite ill at the time as well. But yeah, I didn't that. really take it hundred percent serious like I am now. This BKB, I'm taking it. You know, I say that, but I was, I'm still doing like wrestling jujitsu. <laughs> defense yeah. lab goes into way and we're fucking jujitsu. Jiu-jitsu I've actually yeah. got defense lab colours. <laughs> it was when I went to uh, I was doing some filming with Cage Steel. I went to Grilla to film uh, James Green, and he's there doing a wrestling class and with his with his uh, hashtag the new king mouth guard. He's like Jimmy Sweeney, where you at? <laughs> yeah, prepping for the world title fight, <laughs> biggest fight of my life. I'm just doing wrestling, <laughs> jujitsu, CrossFit, CrossFit. Yeah, I love uh, CrossFit. So, it's class, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking about doing a competition, me and Danny. <laughs> we should do. We keep, we've, we've been watching it as well, like it's CrossFit Games. It's class, isn't it? Them yeah, documentaries yeah. on Netflix. Just makes you want to be a vegan. It's, CrossFit. It's, it's perfect for like MMA, do you know what I mean? It's all rounded. Yeah, like, functional fitness. Yeah, turns yeah. me into a beast. People yeah, do take this out of it, but it is good. Yeah, yeah. it's good for you. Honestly, it's mint. Yeah, it's everything. Don't be giving you secrets away. 
It's bad for you, Jimmy. Don't do crossfit. Don't, don't do wrestling. Do def- go do some defence lab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, if you're watching, I'm sure you're not. <laughs> but yeah, so I think whatever does happen with him, whether it's BKB or MMA, uh, yeah, you'll you'll see me there yeah, filming yeah. him. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. So speaking of, uh, I suppose the the next bout of docu series that we've got footage <laughs> yeah. of. Uh, myself and Connor are going to take a look at the footage and uh, yeah. we're actually going to do some filming after this podcast because people keep DMing me like, well, when's when's it coming out? Uh-huh. I might just give it six months like Connor yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, uh, but no, I want to yeah. get out as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a bit of filming now, wrap some up, some short and sweet, 15, 20 minutes if that, and uh, give the people what they want. Yeah, give uh-huh. the people Rico yeah. what they want. <laughs> yeah, so the fight's coming out tonight, six o'clock apparently, so... Keep an eye on BKB, I'll share it. It'll be on YouTube. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah. It was a good fight. Like I said, it was like a Rocky film. Oh, totally, man. It was fucking unbelievable. Started strong, then come back from the dead like Tyson Fury. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finish, finish strong as well, you know what I mean? The thing it's, is, if you, haven't watched, if you haven't watched it already, like when you watch it, just, just don't go for a cup of tea or anything. Yeah. Just watch <laughs> the entire fight as it is because it it's good. fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Was, really like, generally, I like, enjoyed every second of it as well. Like People are like, you're mad doing bare knuckles. <laughs> I really you you can't feel the shots that you, your adrenaline's that good you can't yeah. feel it. But like the fight, like we said earlier, was it was propelled even more because you got dropped. Like if yeah, you'd exactly, have just gone yeah. in and just beat him for six rounds, it, yeah. it'd have been amazing. But I just wrong, wanted but... to, I just wanted everyone to know defense lab <laughs> don't work. And I proved it. I did shape one and I got dropped and then he died. <laughs> and then, so don't try this at home. <laughs> defense lab don't work. I tried it. I've even had a guy message me. He's like, oh, that, that, that shape's called the helmet. I was like, oh, yeah? He's like, yeah. I can't believe it works. I was like, no, it didn't, mate. I got dropped. <laughs> He's like, oh, what? It's called the helmet. <laughs> and he wanted a picture of me, like, doing it in the fight. So I sent him it. But, yeah, he thought it worked. But I was like, no, mate, it didn't work. <laughs> I think you had the technique wrong. Like, so that photo that you've put out like this, there's too many gaps. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You want tight enough. That one was good first round. Yeah. Shape two. <laughs> Drack is in it. Fuck's sake. Black toilet roll. Huh? <laughs> right, oh, lads. Where sad. can people find you? Uh, so at chproductions.co on Instagram. Uh, you can follow my gym page as well at the unit MMA. And then I'm just Connor Halliday. Find me on wherever you want. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I use Twitter, but don't really do much on it. So yeah. Mr. Well, World uh, Champ, where can people find you? Um, toilet roll brand. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously Instagram, Facebook, Rico, Bon Bon Franco. Uh, find me on there give me a follow give me some shit yeah, yeah. and yeah. follow Josh as well he needs 3,000 followers oh for yeah I'm, I'm, Come I'm, on. Yeah, follow this guy Three, Josh 3k <laughs> for Christmas at the Josh Come Goodgen on. that's what, what I'm in for I've like 2,940 yeah. or something like we get, we've got it 3k <laughs> yeah. for Christmas <laughs> no seriously though do go and follow him I want to try my target's 10,000 just because Instagram on this story you can swipe, you can swipe up, up. Yeah, yeah. if you get 10,000 like get a link and you can like sell tickets on there easy as well. Yeah, well yeah, I totally. need an extra nine and a half thousand followers. <laughs> please. Uh, that'd be helpful. And don't forget, um, Danny Mitchell MMA. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back of next course. week. Yeah. Um, we'll do, we'll run this back. I mean, you're, yeah, yeah. you're on fucking every podcast anyway, Rico. <laughs> let's be honest. Like, if you look back at the archive, you're it, either you, in the corner yeah, or you'll on see the podcast. This every podcast now, <laughs> blood on it. And I'm always quite happy to come back. Yeah, that's it. So, you're always welcome, yeah. mate. Come yeah. up anytime. So yeah, thanks for those that have uh, have listened and watched. We've had quite a few few people tune in and watch. Yeah. And uh, Yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. See you later. Thank you.